I'm here at the uh, Sustainable Innovation Expo, which has been in Nairobi at the UN Environmental Program headquarters. I've just spoken to a group and we've been having a booth for the last few days for over a thousand delegates that are here, mostly environmental ministers uh, and their delegations from around the world in a number of different countries. One of the things that we talked about was really the, the capability of GE to continue to provide sustainable products for the environment. As you all know, we have a big aspect around eco-imagination, where we've invested over $5 billion over the last 10 years in new products. These products have been independently certified as eco-products, and we've sold over $100 billion of these. This is across all of our product lines, whether it be in a power generation business, our locomotive business, aircraft engines, and healthcare and uh, oil and gas. So it's really a focus that the company has had for a number of years. And the sustainability over the long term is really driven by the capabilities of maintenance and service around the products that we have. So we see the efficiency gains that you get now will continue to go as we continue to develop products that align themselves with what we have today. And when you look at Africa, you see a tremendous amount of opportunity for not only historical products, but also these new sustainable products. And the, and the exciting thing is to bring the sustainable products to fruition today to some of their energy and other infrastructure needs. So what we're seeing is a real focus on distributed power. We're seeing a real focus on, on renewables. We have wind projects in Kenya, as well as looking at some in Ghana. We have uh, renewable projects utilizing unconventional fuels such as landfill waste uh, in South Africa, also in Nigeria. So we have a number of projects that we're focusing on with the equipment that we've developed that really will bring sustainable solutions over the long haul in the next few years. So we feel very confident that we're going to really have the ability to continue to uh, add to the uh, viability of the African economic growth as well as the environmental uh, footprint. Our CSR approach has been uh, really focused around a couple of different areas. One is developing health, which is really focusing on improving the health capability across all the globe, but really focused here in Africa on improving capability, mostly in the rural areas. The other areas that we're looking on is education. Education can't be undervalued in any way, shape, or form in that Without new engineers, new people that are going to be able to develop new products here in Africa or anywhere else, we need those people to be educated and we need to get them here trained and then really into the community.